Welcome back, everybody. After weekends of indulging on chocolate eggs and other decadent Easter treats, you may be feeling a little bit sluggish today. I think we all are. Fitness expert Sonia Joss is back to help us burn off those extra calories and set us on the right track. Look, she brought these beautiful bowls of salad. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's just going to just take a little nibble as we talk about the rest of this. <laughs> Good to see you, Son. These Great are beautiful to see plants. You. Thank you. So this is, you know, what it may have looked like, perhaps even a yeah. bigger solar table. I actually think this may be a little bit conservative, yeah. but we thought we'd just kind of keep it one to one with some exercises that we can do to tackle some of the common foods that people were eating over Easter. Okay. And it's not even about Easter, right? This is just that time of year where the weather's starting to get better and people forget to be mindful about their portions and about mm -hmm. what calories look like. And some of these things are a bit surprising. Okay, it's true because we hibernate and we crave comfort foods oh, all winter long. Right. So this will be surprising because this, this be. looks like for people who enjoy meat, I mean, what's the big deal, right? Right. So this is a plate of ham. It's one serving, typically what one serving would look like. And this is about 230 calories. Okay. So, it, it, you know, it's sizable, especially because that's only one piece of what's going to be on your plate. Sure. And something like 230 calories is going to run you about 20 minutes of burpees, oh 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, repeated for 20 minutes. Like, that is a lot. Is it even possible to do 20 minutes of burpees? Tiana's going to give us a little demo oh here, and we're going to see. Burpees, right? So we're going Tiana. up, we're going all the way back. Elbows are nice and soft. Core is engaged as we hop back. This is a real full body exercise. Okay. Something that you guys can do without any equipment, which is great. But again, you're working at max intensity effort to burn about 230 calories in 20 minutes. And now, this is a lower impact if you have any sort of knee, exactly. neck, back injury. There you go. It's a lower impact version. Of course, you're probably going to have to extend the time a little bit if you do this. But again, these are really great ways to kind of burn those calories at home. Yeah. using really no equipment, which is what tends to be tricky for people, right? They're like, we want to burn it off, yeah. but we don't know how. Yeah, who, who has the money or the time or whatever to go to the gym. Exactly. By the way, we just mentioned meat, which is so uh, ironic because Tiana is a vegan. Tiana is, in fact, a vegan. Muscles. There you go. So she, she's actually not eating this plate of See? ham. See? Dispelling those myths. There you go. Strong, muscly machine. There is. Okay. Strong, muscly machine. machine. We love it. Lean machine. Hot cross buns. Apparently, this is a really exciting dish during Easter, okay. and they look pretty delicious. So something like a hot cross bun, one, is going to run you 155 calories, okay. which is 15 minutes of jump squats, oh. as you know, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, getting nice and low, launching yourself in the air, weight grounded in the heels, pausing at the bottom for a brief second, and then really getting that height. This is going to burn. You get a really intense core and leg workout doing an exercise like this. And again, if you need to take it down a notch, we just kind of pause at the bottom doing a standard squat. So it's muscle resistance and it's getting your heart rate up. So that's the cardio portion because that's you're the using portion. through the jumping, it's, it's requiring all the large uh, muscles, Absolutely. Right? And the great thing about doing exercises like what I'm showing you is that you're not only burning calories during the actual workout, but your heart rate and metabolism is elevated well after and therefore you're burning calories while you're just kind of hanging out on the sofa too. So you can have another bun after? Uh, that's not exactly what <laughs> I'm suggesting, Doesn't but yes, technically like you could okay. do that. Now this looks like a beautiful piece of yes, carrot cake. My personal favorite, cream cheese icing, so good. Because you do allow yourself to eat treats. Absolutely, yeah. because what's the point in living otherwise? So 350 calories for a gorgeous slice of carrot cake, about 30 minutes of skipping, oh two 15-minute sessions. Again, yes, you do need some equipment here, but you'll see, doesn't take up a lot of room in the house. Nice and light on the feet, core is nice and tight. We really want to make sure that we're kind of getting that comfortable bounce and that you're wow. engaging your shoulders as well, because it's, again, upper body, lower body, all in one. Easy peasy when she does it. Yeah, I'll say you Pretty make it look challenging so easy. Otherwise. Wow, that's impressive. There you go. Is it hard on the joints? You know what? I think the key is, as you'll see with Tiana, she's keeping the knees nice and soft the entire way through and is staying light on her toes. It's when you get that really hard kind of thud when you're going down and you really lock the knees in the jump that you start to run that risk. And to wear the proper footwear well, for the absorption. Exactly. Right? Okay. Exactly. Now this, the chocolate, uh. a plenty. So Everybody, much chocolate. Tonight, tonight. I, I cannot tell you how many uh, versions of Easter chocolate I had this weekend with my daughter to prevent <laughs> her from eating it, um, which is why we're wearing a loose shirt today. But yes, uh, one serving of Easter chocolate is going to run you about 190 calories. Okay. Doesn't sound like much, but that's going to take about 20 minutes of mountain climbers, again, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, wow. to burn that off. 
A great exercise, though, because you'll see elbows being nice and soft. You're really engaging the shoulders, the triceps, the chest. Core is nice and tight to keep you in that level. Do you and then lock you're pumping the elbows? No. no. We never lock elbows, never okay. lock joints whenever okay. we can avoid it. And again, you're really pumping in those knees at a fast pace, but as it starts to get a little bit more challenging, you can slow it right in and tuck it in to keep that core engaged. So would you recommend mixing this routine up? I, I think every exercise here could be mixed up really well. And then, you know, you end off with some skipping, put it into a bit of a circuit. Yeah. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off is a one-to-one -one ratio work to rest. Tends to be a really great way to kind of build in that interval training okay. while not falling apart completely. Oh, Sonia Joss, great advice. Thank you for Thanks making so us much. once again be mindful as we head into this mindful. work week. At Sonia Joss, it's J-H-A-S for more information. Breakfast Television.ca will have the link. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Salad? <laughs> <laughs> a little leafy green. Tomorrow on BT, it's Canada's largest eco-healthy living show, and it takes place right here in Toronto. We're going to bring you the latest products and technology for home and wellness from the Green Living Show. Thanks, girls. Great. Thank you.